2020 has been absolutely crazy, and this madness is continuing to spill over into 21. On top of it all, in less than just three weeks, we will run out of homes to sell right here in Southern Utah. But you're finally ready to move, sell, buy, or invest in real estate this winter. What should you do? We'll talk about all of that right after this intro. Twenty twenty is finally over, and boy, what a show that was! We're just seven days into twenty twenty one, and is seemingly shaping up to be about the same, if not even more interesting. But we're not here to talk about politics or pandemics. Here we talk about all things Southern Utah. So if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it, so you don't miss any of our future videos. On this channel, we talk about buying, selling, and investing in real estate in Southern Utah. And if you're thinking about moving here anytime soon, this channel may be a great resource for you. Without further ado, let's just dive into this video and see what exactly happened in our real estate market right here in Southern Utah in all of 2020, as it has been a very eventful year. Uh, in lieu with um, all the recent events that took place in pretty much the entire world, a lot of things have changed, uh, which really put Southern Utah on the map for a lot of people that are moving here from all over the place. On top of that, we have experienced interest rates at all time lowest. So that created a lot of opportunity for a lot of folks to get into lower mortgages and ultimately be able to purchase more real estate even though the prices continue to creep up. So let's take a look and see how all of that affected the numbers right here in Southern Utah and see how our market performed in all of last year as well as take a look at the beginning of January so far. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing, these numbers can be detrimental and they can help you make your decision as a buyer or a seller in this current market. And if you're perhaps thinking about picking up your next cash flowing investment property, these numbers may be vital as well. So let's take a look at uh, 2020 in review. If we look at all available inventory, we started January of 2020 with nearly four months of supply. January began with 1,121 listings on the market, which was a little bit below average. Now, when I refer to these numbers, these are the numbers for available inventory within uh, Washington County, which includes uh, St. George, Hurricane, uh, Ivan's, Santa Clara, all of the surrounding communities that compose Washington County. Uh, for those of you that haven't been in this area, this is basically all of the surrounding suburbs, if you want to think of it from a big city perspective. Total population close to about 250,000. So this is kind of all, of all of the surrounding communities. So we started January of 2020, exactly a year ago, with 1,121 listings. And that number quickly began to decline. So we looked at the absorption rate of about 3.79 months. Uh, in January, which is almost four months of all available inventory. And by March, that number dropped down to 2.76 months of supply. And we started to experience record lows by June. In June of 2020, we were down to below a thousand listings. We were at 978 available listings and at just two months of supply. Things really began to ramp up, and I think a lot of it is to be attributed to to people figuring out what to do, and uh, also having more availability with employment, being able to keep existing employment and just work remote or work from home. Uh, work from home really caught on, you know, starting in May, March. You know, really March March of 2020 is when that trend began to catch on with a lot of employers as they realized they could save some money by allowing their employees to just reimburse them for uh, their internet connection, and maybe an office allotment. And that created a lot of opportunity for people to move to the places where they really want to live rather than uh, live in a bigger city with higher expenses and continue to work from home. So looking at our inventory in August, it began to take a drastic change 
By August of 2020, Southern Utah had just 638 available listings and our inventory dropped below two months of supply. We're just 1.27 months of supply. And the matters really began to look uh, worse by October. In October, we were down to 0.95 months of supply at just 509 available listings. Numbers continued to drop and December of 2020, we finished at just 386 active listings and one month of all available inventory. This is absolutely crazy. Southern Utah has never seen our real estate market that low. Um, it seems like for every seller, there has been at least five buyers. Uh, most homes are going under contract with multiple offers, well above asking, and it seems like even cash offers are coming in at 10 to 15 grand above asking throughout all price ranges. So let's take a look and see what this demand did to the pricing. Uh, if we look at January of 2020, we averaged at about 354,000 and sold days on the market about 53. So within 53 days, everything sold at an average price of 354. Uh, and we finished December at 446,000 for the average sale price and just 29 days on the market. Supply versus demand capitalism definitely drives the prices as soon as the demand goes up. So we've seen substantial increases in price per square foot on pretty much all the homes that were available in the market as the availability went down. And we often saw multiple buyers competing for the same listing, submitting offers that are well over asking. And you know, regardless of whether those offers were financing or cash, we have seen on average about five buyers per every seller in this market that were all ready and able to compete. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate in Southern Utah this winter, these stats might be important to you. Let's take a look and see how quickly things were moving in the month of December. Um, so this December, our median combined days on the market was just 10. So everything sold in about 10 days as we have seen multiple buyers for every single listing. The total number of sold listings was 406, 356 listings went under contract. Total number of active listings was down to just 425 and total number of new listings was down to just 316. So what, what do we do with this information? So here's some advice for anybody that is looking to buy in this crazy market. If you're thinking about purchasing anything, and uh, if, if we break this down a little bit further by um, the price of the listings that were sold, we have seen uh, a total number of listings under 400,000. Uh, there was just 61 listings between 400 and 450,000 that sold uh, in the month of December. We have seen 64 listings uh, between 300 and 350,000. So this is normally the most competitive uh, price range where we see the highest number of listings move. So if you're if you're thinking about purchasing something in this price range and you may be shopping remotely or even here in person. Our normal advice is for you to do your due diligence first and then make a final decision. In today's market, you have to execute first and then exercise your right for your buyer's due diligence during the 14, typically a 14 day period. And you can decide if, if there's any nuances about this property that may be a deal breaker. Order your home inspection, research the neighborhood, think about the schools and Think about all of these things after you have that home under contract because customarily most of our buyers would do their research first and only then commit to pulling the trigger and purchasing something. In today's market, if you spend that time and by the time you're ready to pull the trigger on something, it is simply not there because it went under contract with somebody else and that ship has sailed. With that being said, as a seller in this market, something you have to look out for is when you're selecting that perfect offer, 
you, you kind of have to weed through uh, your, your seller due diligence to make sure that the person that is committing to purchasing your home does not in fact have multiple offers on multiple properties. This comes down to a little bit more finesse with your listing agent and their knowledge of current market and current market conditions. There's some appropriate questions that may be asked in order to make sure that the offer that you're selecting is in fact the best offer that you could go forward with and you're not just spending you know, 14 to 20 days of keeping your home off the market during the hottest season. Another important piece of advice that I have for our buyers is if you're shopping in this market, it is important to do your due diligence ahead of time. Research the neighborhoods, schools, make sure that the community that you're looking at is something that's gonna work for you in the long run so that you can narrow down to just looking at a specific property rather than trying to figure all of these things out after you have that property under contract and now you have just a limited amount of time to decide whether or not this home is gonna work for you for other external factors other than just the quality of that property. And most certainly do not begin to waste your time unless you're pre-approved and mortgage ready or if you've got cash in hand and you know exactly how much money you're willing to spend on a home. Unfortunately, it is turning into a race at this point and there are several able and willing buyers that are ready to execute on just about any listing that hits the market right now. So when that time comes for you, you have got to be ready to pull the trigger on something that may be a good purchase. A lot of buyers are starting to feel discouraged after receiving several rejections or being bid out and multiple offer situations and bidding worse. But with the right strategy and the right agent by your side, you are able to successfully get through the purchase. As we're seeing a lot of inventory leave our market, we're also seeing a lot of new listings hit the market. If you're thinking about investing in a piece of real estate in this market, if you're thinking about picking up a second home or perhaps a cash flowing rental property, Cash flows are not as opportune here as they may be in other parts of the country due to a higher purchase price. However, if you look at it from a long-term perspective, our investors that purchased properties several years ago and were able to maintain the cash flow just to cover their expenses and cover their mortgage expenses are now looking at selling and are cashing in in many cases over 100 grand in market appreciation and while we can't tell what the future will bring we can look at the past and looking at history at the last five to seven years in this real estate market we have been seeing nearly 30 percent market appreciation so if you're trying to wrap your head around numbers from the investing standpoint southern utah is definitely a great place to purchase an investment property and as long as it cash flows to support its own expenses you're almost always able to get out of it with a substantial amount of profit. If you're thinking about doing that, please feel free to reach out to me and I would be happy to analyze your numbers and give you an idea on what the rents would look like for a specific area and what you could expect to net after selling that property or after maintaining it, what your cash flow would look like and what your operational expenses are like. We also help a lot of folks that purchase second homes that also double as Airbnb property or vacation rentals. The math on those properties can be a bit more complicated, but we're able to give you the right uh, idea on what to expect getting into that venture, what your expenses would look like, and whether or not a specific area is right for you based on the needs that you may specifically have. So don't hesitate, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to point you in the right direction. 2020 has been a crazy year. The tail end of it has gotten so busy that Michelle and I could barely keep up with all the clients that we were trying to help. We we're able to successfully get through many, many closings and we're so grateful for all of you for continuing to give us business, do business with us, and if you have any questions at all about buying, selling, or investing in real estate right here in Southern Utah, we would absolutely love to take care of you. Our contact information is all over this channel. I will provide it in the description of this video below. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. We look forward to producing more content this year. Parade of Homes is just 35 days, 15 hours, and nine minutes away. 
We are looking forward to showing you guys all 30 of the parade homes that will be entered in 2021 Parade of Homes. It will take place February 12th through 21st and we'll be sure to attend all of them so we can be your eyes and ears for this year's Parade of Homes. And of course, if you're thinking about coming down, please contact us. We may be able to get you a better deal on the parade tickets or assist you in any way while you're down here. We intend on uh, providing more content with regular market updates, as well as things to do, places to see, and all things that are Southern Utah. So if you have any future video suggestions or anything you'd like to see more of, please drop us a comment below this video. If there's anything I didn't cover in this video, or perhaps you have more questions about, drop us a comment below. If you found the content provided in this video useful, please give it a giant thumbs up, share it with a friend that may also find it helpful. And of course, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. And I will see you in the next one. Adios. Uh-uh.